one comes from Hernandez Oscar saying, question, my girlfriend is from Mexico. I'm a U.S. citizen. She has a tourist visa, and we have been dating for six months. If I marry her or can she get married on a tourist visa um, that she's had for years? Question, does she still have to return to Mexico? Also, please explain the 90-day rule that entering the U.S. wait for 90 days, or is it having a tourist visa? What I'm trying to say is, does she need to be here for 90 days so we can get married? Yes. <laughs> that, at the end, that, yes. all of that. Okay, so let me explain. Because <laughs> I, I haven't answered this question enough lately. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Let me explain. If you come on a tourist visa, you're coming to visit. That's incongruous, incongruent mm -hmm. with getting a green card. You can't, in one hand, say I'm visiting, and the other hand saying I want to live here for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. Somewhere, you're not telling the truth. Right? Yes. So if you come on a visitor's visa and you go to the airport and you show the visa or you go to the crossing between Mexico and the United States and you show your visa, whether the words come out of your mouth or not, you're saying, I'm visiting. I'm coming here for a temporary period of time. I am going home. If you f then file for your green card within 90 days of you entering America as a visitor's visa, on a visitor's visa, by telling the government you're coming on a temporary basis to visit and go home, and then you file for your green card within the first 90 days, the government says you lied. You said at the airport, you showed a visa, and you said, I'm coming on a temporary visit, and I'm going home, and then 30 days later, here you are applying for your green card. Mm -hmm. Liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> right? Yes. So then they're gonna deny you. What the law says, if you wait more than 90 days, you are not liar, liar, pants on fire. You changed your mind. You came to visit, mm -hmm. and then you changed your mind. And literally, that's what the law says. That's what the law says. Yeah. I'm not telling anybody to do nothing wrong. I'm just telling you the law. Right. If you come as a visitor, and you get married and fly within the first 90 days, liar, liar, pants on fire. Mm -hmm. After 90 days, you're not liar, liar, pants on fire. There you have it. There you go. All right, our next question comes from Dana Love saying, Question for a friend. She applied the uh, I 751 back in 2016, got her green card in October, same year, and now her ex husband accused her that he didn't sign the I 751 forms, but he did. All right, she, used, uh, she used the one they both signed, uh, their bona fide marriage, but things didn't work out. She's not, uh, now sleeping in a separate room, uh, but still living together at the time that she applied. Now my friend got a biometric date for citizenship. Is this going to be a problem? Has she removed the conditions yet? Doesn't say. Okay, if you, if, you've removed, if you haven't removed the conditions, you got to remove the conditions first. If you're no longer in a bona fide marriage with your spouse then my advice is always get divorced. Mm -hmm. uh, don't stay in an unhappy marriage. Don't just live in another room just for the sake of trying to get a green card. Right. If you already removed the conditions and you're now applying... But she already has the green card. She got the green card the same year. The 10 year or the two year? Well, it said back in 2016, so... But I don't know if this is the two or well, 10. Well, now she's applying for a citizenship, so maybe But it's... you said something about 751. Yeah, so he's claiming that he didn't sign the I-751. But, but he did. But he did. Okay, so if you have a permanent green card, and you're basing citizenship on three years of a bona fide marriage, you're not going to get through because you're in separate rooms. So you got to wait the answer. Got it. All right, Terry saying, uh, hey, Brad, my U.S. citizen wife is in the process of filing for me, and we want to hire you to handle the case. However, currently I live in Mexico, but I am a Nigerian citizen. Will the co consular processing be uh, done in Mexico or in Nigeria? It depends if you're legally residing in Mexico. In Mexico, if not, then in Nigeria. Okay. All right, but if you're out of status in Mexico, they're going to make you go back to Nigeria. Okay. Uh, Jean is saying, what's the difference between mandamus and request for expedited interview in case of asylum? I don't know what request for ex expedited request for expedited interview is. Please, can you make this go faster? A mandamus is a lawsuit with the federal government right. where a judge says, make it go faster. So mandamus is Correct. the answer. <laughs> Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.